Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday, the 23rd of September. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right. Good morning, Mark. Good to see you, Michael. Kathy, good to see you. Bones, good to see you. Julie, George, Jeff, Grant, good to see you. And welcome all new members that are joining and starting us for this lovely Monday. Uh, first day in the room. So uh, hopefully everybody's right. Hopefully everyone had a nice weekend. It was hot here in New York. I don't know where you guys were, but it was like in the 80s. God, it was beautiful. Did some gardening over the weekend. Took care of my chickens. Cut some wood, ready for the winter. Hopefully everybody's ready. Did some therapy for them. Now it's ready to go make all that money back and uh, come back to work on this Monday. So let's talk about what happened on Friday. Good to see you too, Tim. Nice to see you, Lita. First day of fall. That's right. I'll give that a little electric guitar. There you go. All right, so um, before we get started, everybody, and start going through the watch list, because uh, we do have a couple of stocks, just remember, you still you see uploaded up, up up on your screen the upcoming events. Remember, Traders Talk, we do it uh, on Tuesdays, and uh, you got the live trading with me class that's coming up on Wednesday, and then, obviously, you got to see September classes, the Benzinga event, and uh, Trade for a Cause, so look forward to seeing you all guys there. Now, regarding about uh, what's moving this morning, we got a really, really nice move in this P. STV. Uh, I called it out early this morning when I logged in around seven, around eight o'clock this morning, seven fifty. I was in there. If you go back in the chat, you could probably read it. But um, the stock was hovering right around the thirteen, fourteen dollar price range, and then yeah, you had your eight thirty move. The stock run up. We'll talk a little bit about that. But before we do that, the big pre market winner. Let's talk about what happened on Friday and see what we missed. All right. So a couple of good stocks that did make some nice moves. Uh, let's start off with the MDR trade. So MDR took a huge hit right here. And uh, you can see MDR literally went from $6 down to $1.20. And then obviously just had a big, big spike. Great little bounce right there on the MDR. It tanked. Uh, and it tanked going into the afternoon. I mean, you could see kind of like took a hit right here around 12 o'clock. But like anything else, we're pretty much done early in the morning. So that one did pretty well in the pre-market. USTA was another one that we found this morning. Oops. USAT. T. Typed the wrong symbol there. So that one also uh, was a big, big, big drop in the afternoon. Wasn't a good trade um, after, but it could be worth watching today. Kind of light volume right now. Uh, well, I like to keep an eye on it. I, you know me, I love bottom fishing. So this is going on the watch list, the USAT, that one. But my biggest winner for Friday was the Roku. Now, Roku was just a easy, easy short. Stock took just a big hit. Um, I got the short around 113. I kind of chased it. Around 11 o'clock. I mean, I think it was at 1.30. But, but you know, I didn't. You, you don't have to trade a lot of shares if you're a beginner trader. You could have traded 100 shares of the stock, and you still could have did pretty well. I mean, even at 1.13, and the stock went to 105, you still could have been made $1,000 right there, even on 100 shares. So you don't have to always trade 1,000 share lots, which is what you learn in class. But this stock, to me, was probably the easiest and best trade of the day. But you had to trade very, very little shares because the stock had some nasty shakes. But anyway, that, that was basically um, what happened on Friday. That is back in the archives. Now it's focuses a brand new week. So let's start all nice and fresh. Now, the big winner this morning, which we all know, is the uh, PSTV. And, um, you know, I was looking on the big orders. that. It's a big buyer right now, right around $16. I see about 3,000 shares. I'm not getting a lot of big iceberg orders. Now, guys, you've got to be careful with this because stocks got a very, very big spread. Remember, we did a lesson on spread trading and, um, you know, tradable and non-tradable. you got to remember, you know, when we look at some stocks, uh, we got to make sure the spreads are very, very, you know, within our range. Don't look at the commissions. you got to be very, very careful of that. But, um, yeah, I see that, Ken, on the, uh, on the PSTV. But let's keep a close eye on it. Stock's got a nice little spread, uh, a big spread. you got to be a little bit more an advanced trader. But if you were here at 8 o'clock this morning, you're pr looking pretty damn good. And it's just what happens. You're just in the right place at the right time. Thing just takes off on you. MNK. Now, remember, it is Monday, so we don't really always have the greatest days. 
uh, on a Monday because people come back from the weekend. They're all hungover. Not a lot of news. So uh, not a lot that came out of Washington. It probably can make news going on. But um, then we, other than last week about the earnings, uh, interest rates that came out. But there were a couple of stocks. I mean, MNK stock took a really, really big hit back in April. It was $26 stock. All the way down to 240 Looks like it's gapping up a little bit. I see some nice orders in this one on the right. You look over here in the level three. Uh, you got a nice 24,000 share seller out there at 289. I want to see if that guy gets executed. If it does, the stock could probably go up to the races. Neil just made eight cents on the PSTV. All right, let's give him a round of applause. Way to go, Neil. <laughs> Fitbit. I didn't even know this company's still around. <laughs> I thought ever since they came out with the Apple Watch and, and the cell phones, Fitbit, I mean, it's, it's still alive. So anyway, Fitbit uh, made a nice little move after on Fridays. It's gapped up a little bit. I would probably keep an eye on it. You could see it's got major resistance levels back in July around 450. That's why I had a tough time breaking it. But um, that stock looked pretty interesting. We'll keep an eye on that one too. USAT, that one I told you about. We're going to keep an eye on this one because what happened on Friday, VIVE is another one that's made the watch list. Uh, another stock, $130 stock. Look at this thing. Talking about getting, I don't know, but you, I don't know what better word you could say. I mean, I always like to say decimated, but I don't know, just like crushed. Anyway, who knows? Maybe it made, it made the guys start a bottom fish on it. I don't know, but the stock took 10%, 46,000 shares. Just not a lot of orders out there. I like to keep an eye on that one. A couple of big ones are making some big moves. We all know about the overstock, right? Overstock finally broke a major, major support levels right there. Overstock is not looking good, guys. Um, I would hate to be long this position for some people. But listen, we had a good rally going up. And, you know, you know what I hate to say this? There was a student, um, a potential student that wanted to be part of Cybertrain University. And uh, I spoke to him on Friday. And he's like, you know, Fausto, uh, I would love to be part of Cybertrader. But unfortunately, I was one of these people that bought Overstock. I bought it at I bought it at 23 and you know and I saw it go to 28 and I'm holding it right now I'm at 15 really can't afford to be part of it I got to make my money back and I just hate to say this but if that is what is going to make you you know um make you be, be to finally learn and says you know what I love my job I want to do it then I told the person that says you don't want to if you, if you love this do yourself a favor don't be part of CTU. Don't be part of anything. Just go back to your day job. And sure enough, look how he's look how it's working out for him right now. So, because we know as being a trader and being a student of CTU, you know what? We've seen it time and time again. I know I saved some of you here's lives because of some stocks that were in it in a situation like this. But you can't you, you can't play these games. You know, um, it's like saying you know what? I'm I'm very ill. I want to go to the doctor. But I can't. I gotta take. I, I gotta. I gotta work on. I gotta work on. Uh, see if I can figure out myself. Find myself first before I go to the doctor and get cured. We all know if you're ill, you gotta go to the doctor. So there's no different. You, you're in a catastrophe. You're getting crushed in here. You better learn because you know what I told him. Taking a, a big loss right now might not be that bad for you. I, I hope, he's not, obviously not listening, but he's not part of CTU anymore. Uh, but he wanted to. But it all came down to this. So, guys, we all know it. Very, very important. Don't catch a falling knife. It's just worthless. But anyway, it could still be a short. Um, you probably didn't want to hear that. But for us, I don't know. Ten looks pretty, pretty. Uh, Ten looks pretty right now. All right. So that's basically our watch list. Not a big list. It's Monday. That's usually what we find, and um, and that's what usually what's going to go on. Now, regarding a couple of you are throwing a couple of things out there. What's going on? Uh, Benio says uh, MDR short five cents. He made on that one in the MDR. Nice. And it's at support levels, I think. It's almost at support levels, just posting up that big iceberg order in there. Uh, Kent Ole says OSTK, another Im impossible to get the shares to short. I know. You know what? After they give up all those shorts, Ken, I mean, that's it. It's, very, it, it's hard. Uh, you got to hope that somebody releases them. You know, because remember, they can only let you borrow what they have in inventory. All right. But um, now, guys, let's get let's get ready. A couple of things. If you're new here to CTU, make sure you talk to Education Advisor. I hope you watched your videos over the weekend. Know a little bit about it. Watch your crash course on uh, day trading and the lingo that we're doing. 
Just sit back, look, uh, look, listen, and learn. And one last thing, guys, for all you cyber traders, we are going to do something um, very different moving forward in the cyber group room. Something that um, that a lot of I think will help you all make better and smarter trading decisions. We're going to start commentating. That's right. You're going to start doing audio clips. I'm um, going to start. Um, we're going to start commentating um, in the cyber group room. So you're going to hear our voices over the course of the day um, more aggressively in the morning as we're trading. So as we see something, we're going to say something. Um, we're going to talk about the winners. But most importantly, we're going to talk about the losers because it's the, uh, and how few we have and how lucky we are getting out of these positions just like we saw with Overstock. So um, you know what? That's what you get, we're going to need. That's going to make us better traders. I think that will be, uh, be great. Thanks a lot, Kurt. I think I think I think it's, it's gonna help all of us. And um, you know, like I said, uh, you'll hear us. Hopefully, you just don't get bored of us. You know, harassing you over the course of the day. But like I said, it's not a, a TV show for two, three hours or, or seven hours. Over over time, you'll hear me do audio broadcasts. Uh, me, Josh, the instru everyone else here at CTU. Uh, as we see something, we're gonna call things out. So we're gonna have a little more fun. All right. No problem. And let me know what you guys think. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you. We'll do the next uh, the next uh, afternoon meeting at two thirty, and we'll be see if we see something good. We'll say it. All right. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, everybody.